turning managers into leaders, helping people shine. Hello, everyone. I'm back. Today is strategy number 13 in our continuing video tip series on what it takes to create a compassionate workplace culture. And it is be willing to show vulnerability. Hey, listen, I get it. <laughs> Allowing yourself to show vulnerability can be difficult for anyone, but sometimes it's even harder for leaders because we're in positions of responsibility. And we think we need to come across to others as if we're always tough and composed. But demonstrating vulnerability can be a very important way to build trust, connection, and resilience in the workplace. It shows your people that you're human and therefore you are seen as more authentic and relatable. It is a giant step towards creating a compassionate workplace culture. So what does showing vulnerability actually mean? Well, here are a few ways that leaders can demonstrate their vulnerability. Idea one, by admitting when you make mistakes. When you acknowledge your mistakes and take responsibility for your actions, you create a culture of accountability and trust and you build a workplace culture where your employees feel comfortable admitting their own mistakes and learning from. Idea two, by sharing personal experiences. When you share events and challenges that you have faced in your life or career, your staff can see you as human and relatable and will be encouraged to share their own experiences and challenges. This type of openness is essential in a compassionate workplace culture. Idea three, is to be asking for help. When you ask for help or guidance when you need it, you create a culture of collaboration and support where your people also feel comfortable asking for help and stepping up to support each other. Idea four, by being open to feedback. When you are willing to listen to the insights and advice that your people can give you and you actually use it, to adapt and improve your own performance and leadership style, you can create a culture of continuous improvement and learning where your people feel valued and heard. And idea number five, by showing your emotions. Don't be afraid to show your feelings of empathy, compassion, or sadness. Remember strategy number 12, which was you are a role model? Your willingness to show your emotions will create a culture of empathy and connection where your employees will feel supported and cared for. Bottom line, vulnerability is not about being weak or helpless, as many people think. It's actually about being honest, authentic, and open to growth and connection. By demonstrating vulnerability, you can create a more positive, productive and compassionate workplace culture and build stronger relationships with your people. This is Merge Gupta Sundarji with a Merge Management Moment. Turning managers into leaders.